name's Grandad. Hello everyone, welcome back to this week's vlog. So this week we're doing the steps up to the stern. Um, yeah, it, it's going to take us a long time to work this out. So we've decided to do it on paper, first of all, and try and work out how many steps we want and how many, uh, the height of the treads, the height of the risers and the depth of the treads and what ball nose we're going to use. I've just used a drill bit to make some marks where the main points are and draw the pencil lines through them and right on here and now we've got a sort of a guide of what we want and they're traced through we can get them square and work them out exactly uh, on the wood Once we think we've got it right, we uh, just transferred all their measurements onto the opposite side. As you can see, there's lots of lines, <laughs> <laughs> lots of changes, lots of fettling. Loads of fettling, are they? <coughs> but we're getting there. I won't leave this on too long because of the flashing. Got the ultraviolet light. Not ultraviolet light, what are these called? <coughs> Strip lights. Ultraviolet. Yeah. What we're doing each one, we're checking that it's exactly the same as the other side. It's getting dark, it's been a long old day. <laughs> them for tonight come back tomorrow um we've left this one because we've got a slight indifference in the size of the where the cupboards start and it's only it's only a fraction but we don't want to stick these on until we know exactly where they're going to go so now they've been left overnight to dry i can screw them all through the bag Watching Dave off Lee and Ali's narrowboat. This is what he does, so I'm gonna follow in his steps now. <laughs> can't he's do, he's can't the do expert. For, can't do it for laughing. <sighs> Go on, Dave. Hey. I want to see you try getting in and out that. Uh, door at, off the stern as yeah. good as him no no he might be a bit <laughs> older than me but he's a bit more agile than me. <laughs> right so that's our screw hole line yeah yeah i don't want to be on the eye of them and if you don't know who we're talking about when we talk about dave 
the YouTube channel Lee and Ali, they're building their narrow boat. Swan. Building the Black Swan. Is that the name of the channel? Uh, yeah, Lee and Ali building the Black Swan, I think it is anyway. It's yeah. Lee and Ali, isn't it? And they've got Dave next door helping them, and he's a, a whiz at doing everything. <laughs> We're addicted to watching him now, aren't we? What's best for me to hold, eh? The, the back piece or the Breath. side? <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> now, do you want me to hold the back piece or the side piece? The back piece, the side piece, the one in there if you can. Yeah. So that's how much storage will be in that one. It's loads, loads, isn't it? And that one. Massive one. Yeah. <laughs> it's so scary now, isn't it? To keep my fingers away from everything. There obviously isn't a bit at the back there yet. Instead of just doing a, a flat, plain uh, painted surface, uh, we're going to use the textured look again, um, pattern and texture, the same as what's uh, what we did with the drawers. Um, mainly because even though they're going to be coated with a varnish, the you're still going to see marks and things like that from your toes hitting the hitting them risers. So instead of having a flat colour, it just helps. Um, Discard. disguise any marks really um yeah so i've done each step different so i've done lots of different uh ideas on the same sort of theme really so some i've stenciled underneath and then painted on top and rubbed it away so it looks old and worn and some i've left the stencil on the surface yeah. now we've got the steps back in the boat uh we're able to now make a final cut and trim them off to the right height and length. This uh, hopefully now will fit under the top first fixed step as you come into the boat. Yeah, it's like the threshold bit as well, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 
this bit we left like that because we were going to slull it into another piece of ply but we're wondering whether we need to do that on that back bit it's such a little space does it matter yeah we're going to get the bit of the, the fixed paste to go there won't we mm. but i don't think it's gonna no <coughs> so if you're wondering why we didn't bring it up to here <laughs> yeah it was because we were supposed to be putting another piece of ply in there but but that's fastened to those down there anyway until yeah I fastened to those anyway. yeah so it isn't going to matter and this gets fastened to the piece of wood at the back okay so i'm just going to give you an idea what we're going to be doing with the steps and our steps are obviously got five rungs and then one at the top the one at the top's fixed in place but these ones every other step is hinged just there like that and the idea is that this divider will fit between two sets of steps and then when you lift this step up because this is attached to that step and this is attached to that step if there's gas struts put on there these two steps will lift up yeah so we get bigger storage we get rather bigger than storage, just the yeah. small we the thought bottom, we the thought bottom step is, the uh, bottom step be is just on its own right yeah and then we thought originally we thought we'd just do each step as an individual storage but it's better doing it with two steps that it can lift up because obviously you get more storage there and more storage there so once that's fixed in place you'll see exactly what we're doing and we've left it a little bit lower so we can strengthen the bottom up so you can put that bit in if you like okay eh? so um obviously got to be attached That'll in be place attached. so it'll fall a bit lower that will attach to that step there and then as this as this lifts up and that one lifts up obviously that will lift up together so you'll have two steps that lift up on the gas strut and then if it works if it works then the top step is uh exactly the same as this step in there and there's loads of storage in there feed the animals and that's the same idea why do you keep getting it wrong <laughs> Because it's getting late in the day with the boat build and Grandad's getting tired of it. Not tired of it, he's getting tired. So he keeps going wrong. Is it glue? It's light glue, but it's sticky like glue. But it, you know our glue goes hard. Hmm? This don't go hard. So the door's all, so it's always quite flexible. Flexible. <laughs> yeah, so they just. Uh, <laughs> so the door can always move because the wood, because wood always moves about when it gets warm and cold. Warm and cold, it moves about, expands and contracts. So if we just stuck it with glue, it'd all break the glue wouldn't move with the wood so if you put something on that moves with the wood hopefully it'll there's a little tiny split bit split the wood right there. there there's a little tiny bit right there and that won't stick on why why is there lots of circles and lines circles and lines what are there's these right there. There. oh those that's because we've joined the pieces of wood together rather than it being one big piece why of wood why is there loads of what about if it rains and all of yeah, it? Yeah, well spotted. That's why, watch this look, that's why I'm going to put some along here. But well, that, you need that because that's an air vent and you need air, fresh air to come in from outside.
got to fill those two holes up. straight that way. Ricky's the worst locker in the world. <laughs> Turn it towards you, that's it, that way. No, the other way. It's the other yeah. way. Yeah, all the way around. So it's flat again. That's it, now you have to take it out. Saying this is the rubbish, this is the rubbish video I've ever saw. <laughs> <laughs> you things? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Mm. Thanks for that, Mel. Thank you. Because we keep like having to stop. <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. That's why. So with the door with the lock on, we've only used the butyl, so we can take that off if anything happens to the lock and we can get to the lock behind. But on the other door, we're using the glue on the rail bits and uh, up that center panel, like what we did on the other hatches. Um, that secures the door in a little bit more, but we're still putting the butyl all around the edge just to help stop any uh, water ingress down the back of those. Yeah. Yay. And then this job's finished. Well, when we tip it over. When Grandad screwed it on. The top step is actually fixed in place and it is actually a, a little bit, well, it is shorter in uh, depth than the rest of the treads. This is just uh, so that it sort of follows the same sort of look of the rest of the steps but being a little bit shorter and the reason being there's going to be this pipe work behind there and also this step is going to actually help Nanny get in and out of the boat because she's got very short <laughs> legs <laughs> yeah it's just, it just sits and it looks be better as well but the rest of the steps will slide under that so they'll be able to move but this one won't yeah all, all the screws will be capped eventually when uh, we can be bothered So back to the painted uprights, um, they're all dried now so I'm going to stencil uh, on top of these. Because they're textured it isn't going to be nice neat um, stenciling, there may be a few little leaks but it's to add to that sort of like worn rustic, that's what I'm saying anyway. <laughs> So we're using piano hinges um, now with piano hinges you've got to have the screw heads going really set down and we haven't got the right screws we had some but we never had enough so um, we're putting some in here but we realize we have to sort of like just take some of those out and do alternate screws on either side just so we can see if it sits right and then we'll change the screws eventually
So once we was putting the the treads actually fixed onto the back of the ply, um, that's when we realised that yeah we do need just to put a couple in just to see if this all works and then and then we'll get the proper screws. Um, so we've sort of like just put odd screws all the way along so you'll see that there's still lots of spaces that we haven't put them in but it was just to see if it would work and you can see from when we close it that um, even these ones that we put in joining the two heads together it still gave that bounce so we had to alternate them then thread onto there glued onto it yeah <laughs> There's a big gap on this side. mentioned earlier that we'd extended the the uh, upright below the tread and this was the reason for it we're adding a piece of uh, batten to the plywood and also to sit under the tread <coughs> excuse me and this is obviously just to provide a bit more strength to that step yeah we're just um, 
trying to get everything a lot more sturdy, sturdy and, and just to, yeah longevity longevity that's the word yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the um, panel pinning just those on probably didn't even need to do that but uh, again it just gives that extra strength oh see you want, you're going to do that and then hammer it Really? Yeah. Well, that's trust, isn't it? Yeah. So all that's left to do now is just touch up the paint on the inside. These are going to be varnished as well eventually. So back to the door. Um, we're using this lock. It's the wrong colour because it's the one we brought for the steps to hold the steps in place to the floor. Um, but we're going to use it on this door and then buy one the same but in silver. You have to add some blocks at the back so the actual the bit that holds it will fit into the step right otherwise it was just too close to the outer edge of the step once that was done it was just filling in all the little bits the draft excluders and to stop the little bits of light coming through there Now we're able to uh, lock the doors from inside the boat at night using this lock and also I can stand on the back deck and reach over the door before the hatch is closed and uh, reach the top of that and, and slot that into the bottom of the step. Yeah, for when we go out when and then lock out. it with a key at the top. Yeah, and lock the hatch and doors from the key outside that you saw in the previous vlog. It's like four locks. <laughs> It wouldn't be so bad if we've got anything worth nicking. <laughs> Locks are worth more than anything we've got to steal. Excuse the mess. Um, I don't know how many times I clear this out. Grandad fills these cupboards up with junk. One man's treasure is a mother man's... <laughs> whatever it's called a temporary piece of scrap wood is put on the base just to uh, allow for us for when we put our floorboards down so we know the height we're also going to add uh, strips of sapili on that front as a strengthener but also to stop that ply getting knocked all the time when we're getting the tools out and things that are stored in here but we're not going to put them in yet because we want to use the leftover bits of sapili from when we cut the next project so the whole set of uh, steps will have a coat of uh, water-based poly on it. Um, I want to let all the paint cure first, but that'll be going over the artwork. 
and the treads um, and then after we've done that we're going to put some of this uh, grip stuff on and it goes near enough clear when it's pushed down so there'll be one strip um, along the front edge of the tread perhaps um, not as quite as wide as this 